Hello and welcome. In this video we're looking at more functions. Here we're starting with a problem that tells you what f of g of x is equal to. And it's saying that it equals this expression right here. 34 plus, in open parentheses, x squared plus 3x, close parentheses, all of that over 2 minus, and then within parentheses, x squared plus 3x. The question is, what is g of x equal to? Right, this is a pretty common type of question. Um, so before we talk about why this is a nice and straightforward question, let's remind ourselves of how functions work with given inputs. So let's say I have h of x, and h of x equals something, we'll just make it up, right? 3x squared plus 2x. Well, if I said to you, what is h of, of 4? What you would do is plug the 4 in, where you see x. So you would get 3, right, times 4 squared plus 2 times 4. And this would end up equaling, well, 16 times 3 is 48, plus 8 is 56. So then h of 4 equals 56. But what if I, what if I started by telling you just this right here? That h of 4 equals 3 times 4 squared plus 2 times 4. And I asked you, what is a general function, right? Because here we're plugging in a specific value. Well, you could say that because you see that, that 4 is the input, right? And you see it being plugged in here and here, you know that these two spots are reserved for different inputs. In other words, for x. So if I gave you this equation here, you could also go backwards and write 3x squared, right? plus 2x. And because in this case, simply you see that the 4 has been repeated and inputted twice. The same thing is true up here, except now we don't have you know, as simple of an equation, but the idea is the same, right? The idea is that if you see something repeated, in this case I see um, x squared plus 3x, I see, it, I see it twice here, right? Here's x squared, right, plus 3x, and I see it in here as well. Well, that means you can imagine that f of x, whatever it is, when you're plugging in, you're plugging into these two spots. This is your input spots, because that's been repeated. And that repeating helps us identify what g of x equals. All right, and, and in this case, g of x will equal x squared plus 3x. And the way you can tell is, is identical, I think, to, to this connection right here. Um, because it's been repeated twice, this expression, that has to be the input g of x. So g of x is what you're plugging into this equation. So originally, you can imagine that f of x would equal 34, oops, 34, fix this, f of x would equal 34 plus your input, and then 2 minus your input. So in this case, I mean, if I was to plug in something nice like f of 6, well, that would equal 34 plus 6, your input, over 2 minus 6, also the input. 34 plus 6 is 40. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. We're dividing here. It's negative 10. But you could also, you don't need to put numbers into your, into your function as your input. You could put expressions here. So if this is the original f of x, right, g of x is the data that's been inputted into these two input spots. And you can tell because it's been repeated. Let's make up another one and, and kind of work with that. So what if I do something similar where I said, well, f of x, or f of g of x, excuse me, equals, I don't know, 14 plus, and you can, you can make this up, of course, x cubed plus 2x, right, over x cubed plus 2x. So in this case, if I was to ask you, what does g of x equal? Well, you could say, oh, it looks like originally f of x must have been 14 plus your input over an input, right, over x. Because then if you plug g of x in, you could see that it's right here, the square root of x cubed plus 2x, right, it's been inputted here, plus 2x, use a different pen, and you can see 
that it's been inputted here, x cubed plus 2x. So it's been inputted twice. That must be the x value. And in that case, I would say, oh, that's, well, that's g of x. So g of x would equal x cubed plus 2x. And then you might be asked, you know, they can compound these questions and say, well, oh, well, well what is h of g of x, right? If h of x equals 2x cubed over 4x to the first power. Actually, no, that's not, that's not good. They would, they would simplify that. They, you, you wouldn't see that. If h of x equals 3 minus 2 over x cubed. Well, you know, if, let's say they, they gave this to you before you figured out what g of x is. But they can give this in a two-step problem. They tell you what f of g of x is equal to, and then they would ask you to evaluate h of g of x. So the, the thing is that you've got to find what g of x is, as we did right here. And then once you do that, you can plug it into h of x. So h of g of x, what would that equal? Well, follow the blueprint right here. 3 minus 2 over, we're plugging g of x in here, the square root of x cubed plus 2x cubed.